All right, so we're back with Rogue Trader. Um, I need to go to a couple places, but I think I'm actually going to be stupid and go to the Void Ship first. That Void Ship out there floating in space intrigues me. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a rumor. I want to check it out. We'll see what happens. Maybe this is just a waste of trip. Also, I know last episode was really talky. Hopefully this one won't be as talky. Also, because I'm been fighting a cold and kind of losing my voice a little bit. So, let's see. This could end up being a really short episode if I had to talk a lot. But yeah, let's get into this see what happens. <clears throat> what we have here, Lord Cap, it, it's not very noticeable, but there's a void ship sitting in the local asteroid field. It sure is quite like it's huddled up in there on purpose. Look, okay, Doctor, I'm surprised. The thing is more scrap heap than ship at this point. Somebody sure went to town on it. We are registering critical damage to the hull and depressurization of several compartments. Oh, there's incoming transmission now, too. Hear us? Do not require assistance. Repeat, do not require assistance. Copy. Keep following. They'll pass us by, won't they? Or protect us. Lord Captain, I'm told Augers cannot determine the allegiance of the vessel. To be brief, there's an unidentified and badly damaged vessel within an asteroid field near the Ricotta Filia County that is refusing help, which, not to put too fine a point on it, has not yet been offered to them. Can we establish communication? Let the vessel identify itself? Yes, Lord Captain, the connection is established. Unknown vessel, we are receiving you. Identify yourselves. I repeat, identify yourselves. Don't tell him, tell him. We're done for. This is Thunderpang. We are a merchant vessel. Do you copy? We are a private merchant vessel. Merchant vessel? Of course they are. Damn, my stupid head. Where did I hear this name before? Thunderpang. Thunderfang, why can we not identify you? You can make out hoarse and fierce whispering even over the cackling aesthetic. Why? I don't know. What if? Certainly not. Our vessel is badly damaged. It's preventing the correct identification. We assure you, peaceful merchant vessel, Thunderfang does not require aid. Right, we're damage report on the unknown vessel. Telepathy shows multiple hull breaches, most likely caused by the guns of a combat ship. Several compartments are leaking air. The bridge has been almost completely obliterated. Two of the engines are critically damaged. Somebody gave them the thrashing so solid they barely managed to limp away. Thunderfang, your vessel is badly damaged. What happened to you? The box responds by bursting into a cacophony of sounds, words, and emotions. Someone chuckles bitterly, another swears with some foul expletives, and yet another hisses, fiercely demanding that the other shut up. We managed to, we managed to make out little from all the noise. We were just flying, minding our own business, straight out of the blue and open fire. Miracle we could get away. Emperor protected, and then more fire. Who, void only knows, roasted our tail, bombed everything to folks. Our folks are left without our help. We never got to them. Thunderfang, now stop playing games and explain what your business is here, and this time I highly recommend the truth. Happy now, what have you done, idiot? It's too late now. Do you copy? We are from the Fellow of the Void. We did not come here to loot on a different business, to help our own out of jail. Do not hurt, please. We already had our chronos clean. How about striking deal? Our hold is full of plunder. I mean goods. In case you are unaware, Lord Captain, the Fellowship of the Void is a sorterly assembly of several dozen pirate factions on the Cronus Expanse. They consider themselves above regular heretics solely because they sometimes have boxes of communication with those they are about to board. Were it up to me, I would make them eat a salve from the macro cans and shake the scum loose from the decks. They certainly deserve it. I would wait on destroying the vessel if I were you. Although the moral aspects of their livelihood do cause some awkward questions, the Fellowship of the Void remains a major supplier of goods to the local market. Perhaps you will find some find dealing with them acceptable, especially in a situation where performing a warp jump is impossible. Thunderfang, prepare for commercial exchange. Oh, 
Okay, I thought there were actually two new places to go to. Um, the bunker in another place that I think is the I'm the Messiah Tech Priest Chapel place. But actually the bunker, which I thought was a new location, was just where the gov Lord Governor is. So, yeah, we're going after a couple people, so let's see what happens. Keep your wits about you. Failure is just a temporary setback. Hmm. All right. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Success is the only outcome I accept. <laughs> Judging by the dead people's equipment, they were the same people the governor sent to aid them. So they did not do a very good job. Goods over here. Always keep your eye on the prize. Editors were killed swiftly and ruthlessly. They never had time to reach for their weapons. Darkness lurks beyond the bright flashes. No two darkness. One stick of bread, flank and shackles. Then a bilious yellow tang of rolling blood and screams of pain. Not the large extra often marked with the symbol of a key that appears to connect two lines. Some loot this way, so that's why we're going to go first. My options open. You will beg for mercy, and I will grant none. I will level you. Oh, I've been ambushed by camp. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Eradicate it. Pain and duty go hand in hand. What is to come? Oh, what an unfortunate I've turn of fate. Worse. 
Not this Scryer's job. Anything else? On it. Tactically sound approach. Victory is imminent. Hey, Terry, that motherfucker. It will be done. Good as done. You've never stood a I'm chance. A On it. Another enemy down. Here's my perfect moment. If not your end, inevitable. Over there. <laughs> Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. for the serves. He has to like I sit right in front of the damn computer monitor. A mere pain won't stop me. Move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Faith without deed. Not dawdle.
An expected result. Most of the symbols are carved into the Most of the symbols are carved into the norm center. You realize that they are the foundational tenets of the lecture of priest religion standing out. Among them is the triumph of reason overall the best of human nature. Yeah, well, well. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Get the job done. My success is an irrefutable certainty. No sculptures. Cool. There is a formation button. In fact, this one's cool. Advice do you see? You are in the presence of House Orcelio. I'm not satisfied with that answer. Oh. I will repeat my question again. The last Electro Priest you killed, where did you find? Burn in the fire of dawn! Servant of the cup! And another one meets the limit of his utility. The last of them. The tall, dark-haired man sizes you up with a quick, quick glance. A supernatural chill is making the air around him crackle softly. The expensive fabric of his jacket is stitched with gold thread and marked by several reddish-brown stains. A four sword and a vox hang from his belt, and the emblem of the Holy Inquisition glitters on his chest. You try to focus on the man in front of you, but you cannot shake the image of the deadly torture he inflicts on his victim. Your pulse quickens. Blood pounding in your ears and sweat beating on your skin. Seneschal, isn't this the chap you were supposed to find for the Lord Inquisitor? 
Hmm. I dare say it is, Lord Captain. Now, if it were possible for the gentleman to properly introduce himself and dispel our doubts. Seneschal? Lord Captain? Do I have the pleasure of speaking to a rogue trader? Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrich van Kallox of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. I must confess, I'm perplexed to meet someone of your standing in a place like this. Let's see. I'm here to collect you. I'm under the orders from the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require. After which I'm to provide you safe passage to football aboard my ship. <laughs> then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Re requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You are addressing a rogue trader. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say taking into inquisitorial custody. To aid his faithful servant in the fight against corruption is the solemn duty of all whose actions affect millions of the Imperium subjects. Let your example guide those who will carry the Emperor's light across a thousand stars. You are familiar with the works of Inquisitor Alastar the Redeemer. Not every acolyte can say the same, let alone people less initiated. Please forgive my lapse in manners, Lady Navigator Orcelio. It is a great honor. I came to Rykad Minoris on a mission which a rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontents from among the rabble were the instigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried conversations with some of the rebels confirmed my suspicions. Someone by the name of Aurora is leading the rebellion. Data indicates that the head of the cultists is here right now, in the sanctum of the ancient reactor. Given the prophecy of the final dawn, and the especial efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery, their goal is to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor, thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn blasphemous insanity precisely what were you doing at the monastery i arrived here with an escort squad only to lose it in our very first open skirmish the monastery is swarming with heretics the soldiers i requisitioned from the governor fell in battle bled to death or deserted. I had to make do with catching and forcefully interrogating individual rebels. It is from them that I learned what I relate to you just now. I can help you with Aurora. Let's join forces. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils of this place. <sighs> and extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable than a group of soldiers fresh off the base. I am positive that not all of the Electro Priests within these walls have perished. The heretics spoke of shadows emerging from side alleys to make short work of the cultists invading their abode. I surmise that the entrance to their hiding place is somewhere in the hall near a machine known as the Circular Cogitator. I imagine it's one of the local sacred relics which the Electro Priests treat with special piety. That's the My whispers crave entertainment. Don't squirm. I won't forget this. There. Much better, right? 
I'll make sure to return the favor one day. Don't squirm. I won't forget this. Alright. Love a girl, right? Over. Keep your wits about you. I could shut that stupid thing off. to the top or get left in the dust. I always keep my options open. Check yourself those damn things are out there for the bike. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Somebody. A crowd of cultists has surrounded a tech priest crucified upon a mechanism. A rhythmic whisper repeated by hundreds of voices blends into some blasphemous enchantment. Powerful discharge from the motive force runs through the machine, causing the unfortunate prisoner's body to convulse brutally and forceful, forcing woeful cries of pain from his lips. In the clenched jaw of stagnation, in the shackles of iteration zero, under the iron wing, let the cycle be discontinued. I am registering a severe violation of the, proto of the purity protocol. The blessed Amarnat has been captured by heretics and is being tortured. Are you sure he is Amarnat? Confirmed. I do not observe his face, but I recognize his words. Let the cycle be discontinued is the blessed Amarnat's motto. The heretics have taken a position everywhere, and many more are doubtlessly hiding in passages leading out of the hall. For now, they are all focused on the sacrilegious torture of the tech priest that do not know to you. How is he bearing this torture? The devote, uh, devotee of the Amnesia is capable of standing great bodily torment with no loss of functionality, but where flesh reinforced with the sacred iron will will persevere, the purity of spirit may perish. I hypothesize that the heretics have been blessed have made the Blessed Amarnat a uh, participant in some variety of sacrilegious ritual. Through sacrilegious torture, they are trying to break his will and turn him into an unholy terminal with which to control the reactor's outer power circuit system. Then let's kill them all. My analysis of the situation indicates the overall numerical superiority of the enemy. In an open confrontation, the Blessed Amarnat may be randomly or deliberately harmed by fire. I have an alternative proposal to direct engagement. We can use the blasphemer's clothing as a disguise, unrecognized. We can sabotage the power units, overloading them, and thus cleansing the hall of heretics. The lighting discharges have charred the cult's corpse. Whiffs of smoke. God bless you. Their clothes, covered in the blood of innocence, are crudely painted over with emblems of the arch enemy, which exude a repulsive air of soul decay. Why is it every time I try to play or read something that one of my guests says wants to sit right in front of the monitor? <clears throat> I shudder with disgust at the mere thought of having to touch clothing adorned with unholy symbols alone wear it. This is the first step toward falling, a small compromise with evil that will lead to something greater. Is there truly no other way, Rogue Trader?
The signs of the Ark Enemy are not just pain symbols, but conductors of its will. The words of the prayer, even spoken without faith. Their coat of arms, even deceitfully worn, all this increases the presence of ruinous power near you and draws the corrupting attention to you. You would disgrace yourself by donning these tainted rags. The only unbearable disgrace is that of a duty unfulfilled. The rest is merely spiritual attrition. And what is the essence of your plan? And you're uttering a litany of evacuation for the powerful units from the Limo Deacon's command throne will direct the motor force created by the Blessed Reactor into the hall. The distribution servitor is keeping its output within the set parameters, but upon receiving an order to increase its peak values, it will turn this place into an electric trap. Heretical. Heretical. <laughs> the safety is persistent in protecting the hall's control from the machine altar, which must be disabled. If all these operations are performed, I guarantee that not a single blasphemer will survive the Omnissiah's wrath that will be unleashed upon this place. You do realize this plan sounds like suicide. This statement is true. Then what do you propose? To flee? I've tried to employ this behavioral strategy in the past, and it brought my soul no relief. I will not allow corruption to trust you. See, I'm doing iconoclast. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> if it helps to save a worthy man, I will put on the cultist robes. Pray the Amasada gives the Blessed Amaran enough fortitude. The heretics are bleed your skin like a greedy leech. Tingling and foul fevers spread over your body as though these tatters go and by the vile kindness of their former wearer's soul. Now I got to. I'm going the wrong way! A heavy crown of golden neural augmentics rests on the servitor's head. The crown has been broken from ruthless gut gun butt blows. The pale body is covered in blasphemous inscriptions carved into its withered flesh. I identify the satellite as distribution servitor. I am registering upon traces of sacrilegious violation of the right of operation. The probability of its responsiveness to the command is below average. For the glory of Omnissiah, let this machine spear sleep, let it may awaken and serve again. Let our outer neural connection circuit be plunged into darkness, let the command response hub fall silent. Pascal switches to bind Horrocks, speech accompanying his every action with a line from a sacred hymn. It's amazing how the, rever how the reverent awe in the tech priest's voice can be discerned even through his rattling box. Suddenly every light on the servitor's crown comes alive. A shower of sparks burst from the augmentics of the server's brow, and several Black ash tainted tears run from its empty sockets, ready to serve. Energize the hall's power units to maximum. It will be done. Now what do I gotta do? Okay, so where's the safety system? And I really wish it would have done a better job telling me where things were. Ah! I don't know who you are. I don't know who are you. Why haven't I met you before? Perhaps the master has blinded your eyes to trifles so you may not behold what is true. 
Me or Master Blight, you too, sister. Well, where is the other set? Always keep your eye on the prize. The altar is adorned with gilded skulls. Threads of metal that he used the, the electrodes are fused into the bone. One suggests the altar has now been desecrated with the blasphemous images of blue green suns. Some its levers and buttons have been pried from the sockets, but the mechanism still glorifies the Omnissiah with its operation. Identify this as the safety system control altar. For our diversion to succeed, the blessed machine must be executed, and may its spirit forgive us. Forgive us, honored machine spirit. We are obliged to interrupt your work. <laughs> Pascal Officer Shortman Arc. Prepare the Ender's Command after command to set up a trap for the machine spirit inhabiting the altar. The code born out of the tech breach tinkering causes the spirit to flutter confusedly in a snare of impossible commands. Heat up the other circuits and perish forever in the showers of sparks that burst from the melting wires. May we be granted the Omnissiah's forgiveness for this act. I'm registering a general shutdown of the security system. Let's go here now. Keep your wits about you. A tech priest corpse, his throat slit, sits upon a splendid command throne laced with finely wrought motive force pass. A contorted expression of righteous anger is frozen on his face. A black blindfold covers his eyes. This is the Lum uh, Lumo Deacon's command throne. This is where the power unit actuation and shutdown litanies are recited. The blessed Lumino Deacon himself has the honor of closing the circuit the motive force flows through. Oh, I'm about to be greatly honored or else surely charred. Maybe both. As soon as you lay your hands on the command throne, this panel's a painful stinging, electricity numbs your sense for an instant. Your fingers cramp and your vision grows dim. Forgiveness, I'm Messiah, for such a grotesque violation of the op rights of operation. Repeat the linea after me and activate the command rooms I point to. <laughs> Clinging to the blazing shards of your fading consciousness, you repeat the words of litany after Pascal and touch command runes as the unabating lightning rips through your muscles and makes your bones crackle. I'm recording your sex successful activation of the power circuits.
In the cycles out of the foreordained, there lurks a flaw of worship. The Tech 3 spotty convulses pain. Plaintive creaks of banard prayers come from his box. As moments pass, the signal becomes less and less clear, as if something twisted and wrong were being added to it. Pascal studies the Tech 3 space carefully. His box system moans in a tragic vibrato. Subject unidentified. This is not the blessed Amaran. Stranger, I request your name. How do you know my mentor's motto? There are deep burns all over his flesh, and the skin around his augmentics are charged. Blasphemous spells have been carved into his sacred iron, forming unholy litanies of scrap code. It is amazing how robust his tech priest life support systems have proven to be in maintaining the spark of life in his grievously wounded body. Do you know him, Pascal? The subject has not been identified and has no record in my catalog. Interrogation is impossible due to the subject's evident effective state of clouded consciousness. Who are you, servant of the Omnissiah? The fire of the hearth spent forth sparks. The name of this spark is Abel Hanuman. The echo of my call has reached you. Good. This, the iteration is at its end. The design is fulfilled. What is the intention? Why are you calling yourself by my name? Was it you who summoned me to Ricard Menoris? For what for? I categorically demand an answer. Pascal's voice rises to an intimidating howl, but the delirious tech priest does not seem to understand what he is saying. What design? An intention both, cold, both bold and honorable, to open new gates for the waters of knowledge and comprehension, a plan written so that the righteous may follow. And trust in the great pattern of revelation and uniform progression toward it. Pascal's voice is trembling with elation. Those are his words. I have not heard them in so very long. Ask him about Amarnat. You came here because of him, after all. No, he came because of himself. Myself, to redeem myself, to correct a mistake. Possibly, but how do you... There's a look of gentle condescension in Abel's eyes, strange, given the circumstances. The hubris of the mind spurs him to build monuments to himself. Do not regret, for all is predominant by the adoration. A devastating coughing fit cuts him off, and you hear a clang of tearing metal from inside his chest. You can talk once we get him out of here. A cold premonition rings the heart. The probabilities are dark and frightening, brother. I do not wish to gaze into them. We are the flame of knowledge that drives the darkness away. Pascal is quickly inspecting Abel's wounds, paying no mind to the blood and sacred unguents staining his sleeves. His box rests soothingly. Do not fear what is to come, brother. We are here, already here. As soon as you touch the tech priest's battered flesh, he shifts his gaze to you and says with sudden clarity, Many sparks have gone out, but not all. The electric shepherds are alive in the darkness. I heard their prayers. Find them. Save them. Recite the hymn of contract of contact circuit restoration that you may behold what is hidden. A blast of motor force runs down the tech priest's body and his face contorts into a mocking grimace. Malformed binaric code, repulsively jarring on the ears, pours out of his box. The information archived to the effect that the circuit's restoration hymn is the entrance password to the electro priest's hiding place. I know with great sorrow that the cultist ritual has been partially successful. My tech brother has been tainted by corruption. He is in the grip of a schismatical and unholy imitation of a machine spirit. I request immediate activation of the tech texturism protocol. What is schismatical? An ugly mockery of a noble machine spirit created by the warp. Sometimes a few lines of despicable scrap code or a small clump of the mortar force falls under the arch enemy's influence and degenerates into an abomination of this sort. One whose very existence is an insult to the Omnissiah's wisdom. I shall help save him. The possessed man responds with a burst of repulsive laughter. Every now and then a word or two of Gothic finds its way into the banaric obscenities pouring out of his box. What seems to be the schismatic intended of foray into a language that is alien to it. His body convulses, his joints twist at unnatural angles with the sound of bursting of bursting steel couplings. As the possessed man thrashes about, his internal augmentics emerge gradually through the hanging tatters of his flesh as though an iron homunculus hidden inside the tech priest were trying to cast off the meat cocoon and no longer needed. Pascal's mechanodrite extends a thin drilling needle. Sacred unguent glistens on 
coated of purification aria is heard as the needle sinks into the possessed tech priest's skull and touches his neural augmentic, forming an electrical circuit with it. Extreme pain is visible on his face. Furious litanies pour out of his box. Result of failure of requesting assistance. Uh, recite a prayer to the Emperor. Deliver us from the evil that has come for our souls from the abyss of the Immaterium. Mara! The sacred words cause the possessed man to convulse, but the strength of your faith prevails over the unholy spirit's power. Boiling machine all streamed down the tech priest's ears uh, and his breathing mask. Word after word, you push the abomination out of this innocent flesh and back into the warp's oblivion. The tech priest's eyes roll up, and he loses his consciousness, crushed. It's still alive and no longer in the thrall of corruption. With the utmost care, Pascal takes his body down from the mechanism and lays it on the floor. His stirring litanies of gratitude to the Omnicide echo through the hall. Best tech brother, we will come back for you when we have done our duty to the miraculous fusion reactor. Lord Captain, the Omnicide commands a pious mind to strive toward uncovering the truth. Therefore, I will not stop until I find my mentor and understand this connection to the servant of the machine guide. I request the privilege of joining your retinue as rightful companion. <coughs> I can offer to fulfill the duties of the and then share on your ship in exchange for the right to follow you and conduct my own investigation. Why, well, yes. Alright. Is there money to be made? Who are these people? As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Anything is? I will do my duty. At your back and call. It will be done. For the throne's glory. I won't object to that. Your reckoning is due.
But of course, Lord Captain. My patience has failed me. I'll see to it personally. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! Get so much! In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave! Anything else? I need a foothold. Let's see to it. I'm a member. They didn't have any loot on them? That's depressing. All right. That's where we're going to stop for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means a lot of help, channel grow, and I do appreciate it. Until next time, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon. Take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.